One, three, one? Oh, it's B! It's supposed to be B1, B2. I just realized that because they said basement before. <laughs> Snake, I unlocked the cargo door for you. Thanks. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry, I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. Whoa! <laughs> uh, nothing. Wow. Listen, Snake, the cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait, you said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. Oh boy, now I gotta worry about that too. At least I know how to deal with infrared sensors. Yeah, something like that, right? Did everyone leave? Oh, whoa! There's a guy on the top now! What the hell? Hold up, hold up. Oh, there's still a guy here. You saw him just now, right? But the... I'm pretty sure that room... Like, the room right in front of us on the, the top? There's a level 2 door. If we can try to get that before we go, that would make me really happy. Do you want to try putting on a cardboard box again? <laughs> I don't know if this helps at all, but... Hey, there's a person up top, so we should be a little bit careful. Because, you know, just a walking cardboard box. Nothing wrong with that. I don't want to chance it. Cardboard box is my second option. What? Oh my god. No! No! What do I do? Stay still. No, you know what? I, I gotta get out. Uh, level two, level two. Wasn't there a person in here as well? Wait, there's a person in this room. No? Oh. Well, that wasn't great, but I guess we're all right. Mind detector. When equipped, buried mines show up on radar screen. Okay, cool. There's a... There's a dot here, but I'm not seeing anything... around? Is there something for me to pick up, or...? Doesn't... seem like it. I'm just trying to press a bunch of buttons right now and see if it gets anything. Oh! Am I supposed to be able to crawl under desks? Is that a thing? <gasps> That's kind of cool. Hey! First person crawling. Yeah, this is... Oh, normally that's not really a thing. Okay. Well, I uh, hope I'm not missing anything here, or... But the dots are enemies, right? Like, is there... Maybe there's someone on the floor below us or something. I don't know. Anyway, we... How the hell do we get out of here now? Wait for that guy to come back? Whoa. I should go- I should go- I should have gone there just now when he was looking- ah! Oh, damn you, damn- Damn you, let's go, let's go! Let's go! <laughs> I should have just choked that guy out the first time around. Or something. 
They actually forget you pretty fast though, so I'm appreciative of that. I don't know if that cardboard box... Did I walk too fast with a cardboard box earlier? It's here, right? This is the door? Wait, where is the cargo door? I thought it was right there. Is that the cargo door? I just arbitrarily assumed it would be on this end. I don't even know which door you opened. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, no. That's the person that's upstairs, I think. Hold up. What room is this? Oh! Thank God. SOCOM Suppressor. SOCOM Suppressor. Muffles report. Blast and flash of it. Yes, it makes it quiet, right? That's good. How do I equip it? Oh, maybe I just have to have both equipped to use it at the same time. Is it something like that? Wait, where'd it go? It just disappeared. Um, maybe it's automatically equipped? Oh yeah, the, the icon has the silencer on it. Okay. Can I take it off ever? Not sure. Uh, are there people? There's two people outside. Someone walking really fast. Okay, that's the door. Who just walked over here again? Like, you see that the red dot? No, I think it's the it's the camera upstairs or something like that, right? Wait. What? The cargo door is open already. If you exit there and go north, you'll get to the warhead storage building where Dr. Emmerich is being held. I'll head there now and wait for you. Hurry after me, okay? Yeah, but we have to- there's a person that's patrolling. If they see me, then... But someone else was calling me just now and I... I missed the message. I don't want to walk because I'm pretty sure there's... lasers here. Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. Right. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them and the doors will seal off and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. Hey, I wonder if the thermal goggles would work, huh? I'm not sure if that's how that sort of thing usually works, but... Let me try it out. Oh, you can see it! You can see it! Whoa, I, I have trouble telling which way... Like, I, I'm not very confident about how the lasers are going like this. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like a spy movie, right? The thermal goggles. Maybe the cigarettes? Well, you're doing it in style if you use the cigarettes. <laughs> and you're using... Ah! Damn it, that last little... I'm talking too much. I'm talking too much. I am I dead? I thought I was done, but there was that last... There was one laser left. Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake? Sometimes it feels like it's really unforgiving. Alright. Dang, we were doing okay too. Oh, thank you. There's a save point right here. I thought I had to go collect all the stuff again. Okay, let's be a little bit more careful this time. This might be a good time for me to save, too, just in case. Save, lady. You caught Snake? 
Usually I'm pretty obsessive about cutting out the saves whenever I'm saving in a game, but this lady talks, so I can't do that. <laughs> How's it going, Snake? Have you gotten used to using the radar yet? Yeah, it's a great system. Not only can I read the topography, but I can monitor the movement of the bad guys, too. Pretty convenient, huh? It also makes it easy for us to see everything that you're doing. You're watching everything? Of course. If you were my boyfriend, you'd never be able to cheat on me. <laughs> monitor 24 hours a day. That'd be like hell. Don't think of it like that. At least you'd never get lost. Well, okay, noted. A lot of, a lot of interesting women around Snake here. Yes, yes, Meryl. I got you, I got you, I got you. All right. Second time's a charm, they say. They do say that, right? Please tell me they say that. It's just that I'm getting a little bit distracted by talking sometimes. Yeah, that's my excuse. And the, the perspective is not... Sometimes it's not very clear. <gasps> which one, like, which one's the actual laser coming down that I should be paying attention to? One more. Here we go. We good. I think we good. Open the damn door. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Snake, be careful. Who's there that? Play more mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. <laughs> Deep Throat? The informant from the Watergate scandal? What? No about that. <laughs> You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen. There's a tank in front of your position, waiting to ambush you. Who are you, anyway? One of your fans. Alright. Mr. Deep Throat, if that... <laughs> this is like, my name is Heartman, my name is Die Hard Man in Death Stranding. I see, I see there's been a pattern so far already. I do have a mind detector. Oh my god, okay. How's my health looking? I... I... Yeah, yeah. There we go. There we go. That's why smoking's bad for you. Although I bet there's something like... You get an achievement for... For uh, smoking 80% of the game or something like that. Just gonna check if there's anything... No, this is the safe path. I see. Uh, never mind. There's the tank in question. This is Raven's territory. Snakes don't belong in Alaska. I will not let you pass. What? Ravens don't belong in Alaska? Send him a message. <laughs> That's right, you belong on the ground. You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. Is that where the code name comes from? Come, let's fight. You know your leader is also a snake, right? So whenever you diss me, you're dissing your leader. Wait, what? Uh what do you want from me? Should I be scared? You're not doing anything right now. Um, okay. Whoa, alright. Maybe- Oh, maybe grenades would be good here, huh? Maybe? That's ah, probably not close enough. <laughs> I'm half dead. I can't get hit even one more time, I think. Oh, is it in the pattern, or...? I'm trying to feel out how this is supposed to go.
Any sort of premonition for what he's gonna do? So I have to kill the gunner. That didn't work. Do I have to get him with a assault rifle? That didn't seem like it was working either. Oops. Whoa! I'm, I can't even. Yeah, it seems like grenades is the right way to go. Maybe, oh, a shaft grenade first to stop him. Maybe. But I can't even see him, that's the... Hmm. Gotta figure this out. Oh, hey! I just realized... You can collect the mines if you crawl next to it. I don't know if you have to get it from the... The side where it's not detecting stuff, but... Okay, this is kinda cool. I already tried going up to it while running, and I, I got blown up, so... <laughs> That's how I know this. You have to crawl. Alright, well... Claymore. Explode when object is within range. Okay, reasonable. Reasonable. Maybe I can use it later. That M1 tank is equipped with oh. advanced electronics. Once it locks onto a target, it automatically tracks it. And its main gun is effective up to 3,000 meters. To get close, you'll have to confuse its tracking system. Use your chaff. If you can jam the system and get close enough, it won't be able to use its main gun. Use your chaff at a long distance to fool its electronic systems. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Did I miss your call? Yeah, how come you told me this time and not last time? This would have been helpful in no way earlier, I think. Is that too far, though? Like, that's barely getting... Oh! Collected a mine. I don't know if that worked. I'll try again. That's too close. That's not even hitting him, though. That's the thing. How about now? How about now? Maybe I'll try another one? And then I'll try regular grenade. Oh, good god! Okay. Somehow, I'm still alive. Still got one more shaft. Where is it? It went all the way over there. What the heck? Are you not gonna come back to this side? Yeah, I think we're pretty much meant to be using grenades. Oh my god! What?! How are you hurting me from here, man? That kind of makes it hard for me to see where he is, too. Oh, man. Finally! I have to get him, like, right on the dude, I think. Woo! 
Seriously? Come on, buddy! Oh! Well, the dude died already, what the heck? Oh, there's a second dude, you're joking me. <gasps> I'm getting run over. Did I get him? There's some serious physics work going on with the uh, grenades there. I think we have to get it right at the, the gunner's position. Well, boss, I hope you are happy. He got the card. We'll play with him a little longer. You would be wise not to underestimate him. Wait, what? What did you think of him? He is just as you said. In battle, he is as if possessed by a demon, much like you. I would expect no less. See? I told you so. But I will kill him. So, General Ivan, I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Well, snake, snake people. Is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always. Yes, the raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Oh, I think we're leaving now. I didn't pick up the claymore mines yet. It is what it is, I suppose. Yeah, cuz... <laughs> The saves in this game, I'm starting to learn that it only goes up to the beginning of the level. And at the beginning of that level there, after we got past the lasers, so we get called by Deep Throat, and then the mines are all there. Right? I wanted to do that part first and then save, so that we don't have to do that part again if we die to the tank guy. Which I did, but it just put me back to the very beginning of the level before I picked up any of the mines. So I didn't actually get to pick up the mines there because I, I didn't want to do it. I was thinking of doing it after killing the guy, but we just sort of left the area. That's too bad, I suppose. Yeah. Oh, well. You want to say anything? Nope. Can I save it now? What's up, Snake? I can save now, right? Thank you. Snake, have you ever heard the saying, friendly counsel cuts off many foes? It means that a little bit of advice from friends can save you a lot of trouble. You should think about it. If you're in trouble or if you need some information about something, please contact Colonel Campbell or someone else, okay? I take plenty of advice. Snake, you've got to rescue Dr. Emmerich, the Metal Gear engineer. He's probably being held prisoner in the second floor basement of the Warhead Storage Building. Mm hmm. Wait, no, I want the other people too. People who have been through war and survived develop a kind of sixth sense to warn them of danger. Trust your instincts as a soldier, as a gamer. Thank you very much. I'm a, I'm a capital G gamer. Just like Baker said, each year, there are more and more cases of muff coming from the nuclear material storage facilities. That stands for material unaccounted for. It means that someone is stealing nuclear materials and probably selling them on the black market. Hmm. Meryl? Where are you now? You're incredible, Snake. You single-handedly beat an M1 tank. No big deal. This is something like that. But I'll bet that VR simulator you trained on didn't have any scenarios that put you one-on-one -on -one against a tank, did it? No. 
but there was no scenario where I had to work alone with a special forces soldier against a group of terrorists either. In real life, things never go the way you expect them to, especially on a battlefield. I'm already holed up in the Warhead storage building. It looks like Dr. Emmerich is still fine, but I'm not sure for how much longer. Hurry up this way, okay? Okay. All right. I don't think I have any rations anymore, so we have to be a little bit careful. I have the one Claymore. Yeah, the one Claymore that we got blasted into. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, okay. How does the place look? Wait, there's a door here. Can I actually go back? Well, we have to be able to go back, though, because we want to access the armory and all that jazz again. Level three. Okay. Oh, our card is level three. Because they gave it to us pretty much on purpose. They're kind of toying with us a bit. It looks like our item capacities have increased again, too. Maybe that happens roughly after every big boss battle. We killed the guy's lackeys, but we didn't kill... We didn't kill him. Nor did we really hurt the tank that badly. Wait, are you not letting me... Can I go past this? Why is the snow purple? Is that just how... They just... That's not anything special, right? That's just how it is, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, if you don't mind, I'll just pick up these claymores again. Thanks. I get the feeling I don't have to obsess about it, though, because... I'll probably get a chance to go back to this place again at level 6. Yeah, picking it up with my foot. How you like that? Alright, I'm good for now. Thanks. Anything else I didn't pick up? I don't think so. Well, that was something. Shaft grenades, very useful. There's an upstairs part, there's a downstairs part. I think that's rations right here. Oh. Yeah. How do I see my health? Oh, when I'm here. Okay. I feel like there were a few times where... It automatically took some rations for me. When I was trying that tank battle, but I'm not sure how to activate it. It, it, it might not be consistently activating. Wait, what? This is a keycard situation? No, I probably had to do something at that spot there just now, right? At the rations? No? What the heck? It's there to do. Did I miss... Oh, I have to crawl! I see. Okay. Sometimes simple stuff is taking me a while. <laughs> Bear with me. Bear with me. Be careful. You absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? Wow! What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Can't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. That means we really can't get caught then. We could choke people out? That's the one weapon you can't take away from me. My bare fists. What about chaff grenades? Whoa, 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 dude, he's coming!
Thank you. Oh. Sometimes I just want to better look at how this place looks, you know? There's a door up there. There's also a guy on the balcony, though. Thanks. Nothing down here? Stuff down here. Yeah. There's a camera there. Guy right above me. Should I just kill him? Certainly makes things a little easier. There's the elevator. Am I going already? B1, B2. Wanna have a quick look around the rest of this place first? Uh, maybe not with that camera around though. <laughs> I think, no, every way probably leads back to the elevator. The elevator is the goal, but I'm sort of interested in that truck right here because the last time we saw a truck like that, there was something good inside the truck. There was a whole gun, a whole pistol. So a little bit of investigation hopefully won't hurt. Nothing, really? Okay, there's some bullets or something there? I'll go this way. Another set of stairs that go back around the same place, but there's a camera that's blocking me. Well, that wasn't all for nothing. Okay. Wow. They don't even come in little boxes or anything. It's just a whole ass nuclear warhead lying around. Wasn't this already here? Okay, B1. Anybody want to give me advice, by the way? It seems like there's... people do have stuff to say, often. Snake, you've got to... Oh, okay. Second floor. I'm on the first floor right now. Whoa! There are people right here! Restroom? Restroom is locked to me? For some reason? Level 5. Oh god, okay. He's washing his hands. He's in the bathroom. What is that? Not level 3. Bunch of secret places here, that's it. You saw nothing, damn it! You saw nothing! Go away! Go away! Go hide in the washroom. Can we just. So if they see me, if they see me when they get up, then I, I can't really choke them, I think. I think maybe I just have to use my... my gun here. Is he dead dead? Maybe could have choked him. Oh, there's a lot of people onto me, my god. A lot of murder happening here. 
Hey, but our overall... Our overall situation has not been compromised. It's just a few bullet holes on the walls of the bathroom. Have you never seen guns being fired in the bathroom? That's a you problem, okay? Oh wow, even the, the mirror is broken. Maybe now I can look around in peace. No, because I saw there was at least one dude here. Yeah, you can see him. Because I saw there were two dudes trying to conversion on me. I Nikita Launcher. What? Remote controlled missile. Use directional buttons to control after firing. What? Seriously? Okay. Maybe crouching would have worked earlier if I did it faster, but the guy saw me crouch. Now this place seems like another armory. And we don't have to come here. It's not where the guy is. So where is the guy? Homeboy's on the second floor, apparently. Oh, that guy went to the washroom. And this one we can't open. Okay, I guess we're done here then. Oh. Alright. Well, now that I'm here... You've got to rescue... Okay. Okay. Yes, it's this floor. The northeast. We can see... Yeah, the radar is detecting a lot, but in terms of actual walkable area, it's just here. Oh, we're being... Oh, wow, okay. Danger. Gas? It's a lab. They have gassy and liby stuff here. Snake, watch out. That place is filled with gas. Also, the floor is electrified. First, Great. destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote-controlled missile. I do have that. I mean, I do have that. But unless if the missile can go through walls, how am I supposed to? I have a... What? Is that the guy I'm looking for? Dr. Heimrich? Dr. Emmerich? <laughs> I'm right. Okay, I understand what you mean. Oh, you mean I have to shoot a, a missile through here, right? Because I was thinking, I can't shoot it through the wall. Oh, this is going to be bad. I have a bad feeling about this. Okay. Oh, you want me to control it while not letting me see forward? How does that work? I only get 12 chances here. 11 now. Oh, okay, I can... I can turn. Wait, but that's... Uh, okay, that didn't work. What about turning the other way? So it's like I become the missile. I can do first-person mode on the missile, too. Oh, there's some rooms there. Level 1 rooms. Hold up. Was the switch right there? Um... Well, that wasn't quite it. I wish they would replay the cutscene for me again, because I was... I'm not sure where the high... the... the switch is. Can you remind me? Damn you. Master, does the name Deep Throat mean anything to you? Deep Throat? What? You mean the guy from Watergate? No, but he uses the same name. Whoever he is, he's not part of our operation, but he's been giving me advice by codec. What? On top of that, he wasn't using burst transmission. 
It seems he was transmitting from somewhere on this base. Somewhere on the base? Yes. I have no idea who that could be. I see. Doesn't sound like anybody else knows either. Those are remote-controlled miniature reconnaissance missiles, sometimes called Nikita missiles. They've got CCD cameras in their nose cones. After you fire them, they'll transmit their visual data to your monitor. You can control their flight freely in all directions. But the missiles have a limited amount of fuel. Watch the gauge carefully. Press the first person view button to see the missile's visual data. Use them wisely. Yeah, yeah, I think we were doing that already earlier. Guess we'll just have to try it again. Deep throat? No, I, I don't know anyone who calls himself that. <laughs> I see. I wonder why he's trying to help you. I have no idea. A trap? Could be, but for the time being, I'll have to trust him. What is this guy's name in Japanese, I wonder? Is it seriously just Deep Throat again? <laughs> They're not making any jokes about it. They're just saying it with a straight face. Oh! Oh, I'm... I think we have to turn that way. Like, there was, uh... There was more going on on that side. Sometimes it goes super fast, that's what I can't... What? What? Who's... Oh, are you not allowed to do it slowly? You need to get some oxygen. You have to go fast? on my second last missile there i okay that was it's actually quite difficult to get a correct path i'm assuming if you run out of missiles i could have gone back to the floor one to get more but damn that was not as simple as i would have liked it to be so the gas is still here but the electricity is gone good i can open this stuff maybe get some stuff here just kidding it's not like they left anything here for you four this is level four uh, there's a camera in here. Don't know if we need that. Let's not. I don't want to deal with a camera right now. Especially when we're... Oh my god. Just use a shaft grenade. But the bad thing is, I also lose my radar. So, wait, where am I trying- where am I trying to go, though? Okay. Uh, the gas! Hello! The gas! I'm- I'm dying. I am dying. Oh, I didn't take the ration! What's wrong? Snake! Snake! What about the other side? Which side am I actually trying to go to? Keep out. That's a level 3 though. What if I just ignore everything on the other side and do this for now? Oh, but the, does the door not work? Oh. Chaff grenade doesn't affect the door. Good. Even though it should. <laughs> oh, I don't know if we'll get to go back- Whoa, whoa, whoa! Alright, alright, alright. What was going on there? What's happening? <gasps> He's probably on the ceiling right above us. Don't let your guard down! It looks like they were cut by some type of blade. Ninja guy. 
Oh, we're like mega zoomed in. It's a ghost. Ugh. What? Speak English, please. Mmm. It's turning invisible again. No! My worst enemy! A level 4 door! Are you alive? You have a red dot. I think it's you. Or maybe it's someone above. Wait, I really can't go here though. Wait, what? How come I could go through the level four? This guy's not working with the other dudes. Oh, he peed his pants. But he's also not working with me. Camouflage. Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. Cyborg ninja. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I <laughs> will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. Yes! I've come from another world to do battle with you. What is it, <laughs> revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respite. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. Can we do this while we're not trying to stop a nuclear strike? He can watch from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. I don't have a sword. No, make me What? Whoa, dude! Oh. I can go up and punch him. He's very good at dodging and all. Can I just use a gun? Is that not a thing? He blocks it. He's very good. Oh, maybe like a... a grenade would work better? If he comes at the right spot... I'm... I'm dying. Maybe I should just punch him, because it was working earlier. <laughs> Does a gun really not work? Claymore mine. Hey! Hey! Come get me! Ah ha ha ha! You a dummy! Come get me from the other way! You gonna come back here again? Oh! Thank you! <gasps> He's invisible! I mean, you, you were using a sword earlier, weren't you? I'm worried about that mine that I put down there, but he's not gonna come from that way anymore. All right, all right, all right. I can do this, I can- I- Come on, come on, come on. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Sorry, man. I don't play fair. We can do a, a regular grenade while we're at it. Oh, dang it. I was hoping that would get him, too. How much should the rations restore? Because I might want to hold off on taking it. Come here, come here. Whoa, he's... His health is so high, though. My god. Ow, ow, ow. We probably have to move from this side a little bit. I still have a few claymores. It's che very cheating, but... Where are you coming from? I welcome you to come from both ways. What? He's not hitting any of it. Can I use a... Oh, so he's... Wait. Does he take out a sword because I took out a gun? I don't know, actually. Thanks! Wait, you should have taken damage from that, man. How about a stun grenade? How about a regular grenade? Actually got quite a few of those. I'm just guessing where you are right now. I don't know where you are. Oh my gosh, you're just doing acrobatics all around me. Just don't stand beneath him when he comes down. Oh no! Well, he has so much health, though. How can I do this? I feel like I must be able to shoot him normally. Well, you're breaking everything, man! Oh no! Could I choke him? I don't know. I'm not sure. Oh! That's good. Now oh. we can fight as warriors. Hand to hand is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. You're very not convincing when you were attacking me with a. Uh... A knife to begin with. This guy's not. If I just keep punching him normally. He's kind of slow too. What if I just. Yeah! Oh, that was dumb. That was dumb. Okay, I think what's happening is if I have the ration as a held item, then I heal instead of dying. I'm gonna try that out. Wait for him to come over. I think I was thinking way too hard about hitting him with grenades and stuff, because clearly just punching him is way easier. We just have to see if he's going... Is he doing a distance thing? Or is he just dancing on the spot? You saw there, my ration healed me, I think. Yeah, that's how we can automatically use it. And that probably would be less wasteful too, because then I'm not taking the ration before I really need to. Come on. Oh, come on. Oh. That's good, Snake. Hurry 
you can catch me. You're starting there. You have to turn invisible. I mean, you're gonna come attack me, right? Oh. No. Oh. Maybe I can. Mm. You think I can't see you? Why is my ration disappearing sometimes? What? I'm hesitant to go anywhere else because this spot, I feel like, if I go into the hallways and stuff, then it's easier for me to get caught without- What the heck? Um, maybe I can use a shaft grenade, do you think? I don't know. Oh, did that work? Oh, he's- he's down! Oh, but I can't hit him more than once, you kidding me? Ah! Where is he? Damn, I don't know where he was! It seems to work for the entire room, though, so that's pretty good. Where the hell is he? Right here is where he is. Just come get me. Okay, that's cheating. He sounds so... Why can I not find him? Hurry up and catch me. He's above me. I just saw him. Oh, see, he's like attacking me really fast and stuff. What the heck, dude? The mine, I don't think it does much damage. I can... Oh, maybe I can just use it to stun him, huh? Maybe that's a thing. I don't think it does damage, though. I went back and checked my first time, and it just wasn't really doing too much. I what? Just left. Oh, da <laughs> Okay, that was not smart. Where the heck is he? I'm using all of my shaft grenades and he sounds like he's getting hurt by it. Stun grenades, do you think would help? Hurry up and catch me. Oh no! Dang! The first phase is fine, but then I need a different strategy for that that second round. Hurry up and catch me. All right, here is where the problems begin. You starting there? Whenever he sees me, that linear attack. He's walking. I, oh god. Dummy. Does he hide in designated spots? Maybe being around this... Oh. Yeah, being around the structure here might help, because there's a lot of corners. And he can only do a, like, a linear attack straight for me, right? 
But if I'm here, then he can't really do it. Oh! Like old times. He's malfunctioning. Do we know him? Is he somebody we know from our past? Because it seems like it. Wait, do I not even have to use my shaft grenades then? I, I just stay- oh. Whoa, why are you being so scary? <laughs> Did that do anything to his health? I didn't actually see. Wait, why is he- What- what is he doing? He's just walking here slowly! He's blocking us stuff. Okay... He was sparkling a little bit. Oh dear. Can I attack him during this phase like he's down here? No, I can't. Come on. So what, am I trying to use a shot grenade here a lot? Ah! Well, he's just slowly advancing towards me. What the hell? We just r rinse and repeat? Something bad will happen when he touches me. That's why he's being so... Hey, why don't you just come touch me? I'm not falling for that. I'll just have to hope I have enough chaff grenades for this whole thing. <laughs> do you want to try and see what happens though? Because we do have three rations right now. I don't think we'll die whatever he does to me. Whoa! Oh! Oh, this guy has a bit of a... torture fetish. <laughs> oh, he does do, like, some teleporting stuff. Is that it? He teleports and then attacks you from a different angle. Oh, so we have to be able to avoid that last hit. Like that. Do you remember Snake? The feel of battle. The clashing of bone and sinew. Can you Okay. Oh my god. Don't attack him all three- oh. Oh! What the hell?! What?! Oh my god! Did he just explode at the very end? Oh my god! I swear I had like two rations there. Okay, we're taking a ration right after this. The clashing of bone and sinew. That's good, Snake. Oh God. Okay, no, 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 no. Just, just calm, chill. Okay, I'm gonna take a ration. Take a ration right now. What's he doing? What's he doing? I'm so scared. Wait, he doesn't just die? I oh no, we still gotta do more stuff. You're joking me. Uh 
How about a shot grenade? Oh, oh. Uh, I don't think we should get near him. Let me shoot him from here. Is that working? He's being so creepy. Oh, thank goodness. I felt that snake. Do you remember me now? Can't be. You were killed in Zanzibar. Oh? The last we'll see of him. Gray Fox. Carl, oh. that ninja is Gray Fox. No doubt about it. Ridiculous. You of all people should know he died in Zanzibar. No. He should have died, but he didn't. What? It happened before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Gray Fox. But he was already dead. He's a zombie? Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. That actually sounds awful. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Gray Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Gray Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that oh. he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. It's already kind of a strike against the whole genome enhancement stuff, man. It's so cruel for the people involved. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? <laughs> Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever. Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Huh, are you hurt? Oh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. Your pants dry yet? I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Oh, sure. Fire. 
I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? W what are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the President personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. He knew. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <sighs> Damn. S -s Damn. Help me. Help me stop I'm it. such a fool. It's all my fault. The truth is... Oh, wow. My grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind? It's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there, too? Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. Do they have the detonation code, though? I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, Go to the, okay. the dock. 
So what the hide? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. Oh! It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was gonna use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. I think you should give me that technology as well. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they've spotted me! <laughs> Meryl, what happened? She'll be fine. I have faith. Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? Music? She, she was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. Yeah, because she stole the guy's clothing. A disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. Y'all noticed? Looking. <laughs> well, she's got a very cute behind. Ah! Way of walking, huh? If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Bathroom? Where's that? Don't be so dense. Oh, that's why the bathroom was locked on the first floor. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Oh, scared Nothing me. Bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, doctor. <laughs> Call me Otakon. Otakon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy <laughs> like me who likes Japanimation. Excuse me? <laughs> Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists Wait. say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. Is this police knots? Just sounds like a childish excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. 141.12. It'll be good to have him on our side. I don't know where you got that ration from just now. But okay. Ooh, that fight wasn't easy. Yeah, I felt like after I learned one phase and then the next one started stumping me. That last one, the electric attack one, I think for the biggest problem with me for that one was I, I can't even see what he was doing because I didn't want to get close to him. Because if I got close, he would kill me right away and it wouldn't automatically take rations. So maybe I can't really rely on that whole, hey, if you equip a ration, it'll automatically take it thing because sometimes clearly there's some exceptions to that. Oh, police knots, right? Yeah, that clip at the end of the, the conversation, I know Kojima had another game called Police Knots. Maybe that was a reference to it. I am... Okay, while I was doing... attempting this fight, I was impressed by a lot of the visual things yet again. Let me see this poster here first, though. There's a... Maybe that's another Police Knot poster. Mm-hmm, just in the middle of the fight, all these computers are broken now, but... They weren't to begin with. They were broken during the fight. Like how we saw that the dude was breaking the glass and stuff. I don't know if we can do it. Yeah, we can. That's pretty impressive. And not everything is breakable by us, but... Yeah, I just think that that level of detail in the um, environment... It's crazy. 
And I know this game is like, what, like 240p, but they are doing so much work with these pixels. It's insane. It's insane. It actually makes me think about how, like, all the indie games we have these days with pixel aesthetics. I think they can be more detailed. Even more detailed. It's crazy. But I guess because there weren't that many pixels, it means that if you want to change an environmental object, it's less work. So different different things going on with uh, different eras of gaming and all that. Anyway, we should probably save because I don't want to. I don't want to do all that again. <laughs> oh shoot! I forgot his number already. Hold up. One forty. One forty one two. Was it? Oh no! I forgot it. One forty one. haven't found Meryl? Snake, the Warhead storage building that you're in has one floor above ground and two floors below ground. Why don't you search there too? It's probably the bathroom, right? I think so. Well, it looks like you've rescued Emmerich for the time being. Yeah, with that stealth camouflage, he should be able to hide safely. Gray Fox. I can't believe it. But the real problem is your niece. The way the codec got cut off like that has me worried. Something must have happened to her. You're worried about Mara? Not exactly. It's just that she's holding the detonation code override keys. They're our last chance of stopping that nuclear launch. You're a cold man. Your mission is more important than the life of your companions? This is war. Survival is the name of the game. Sometimes you have to be cold to survive. Yes, but... Snake, either way, I want you to find Meryl as soon as possible. I understand. Okay, the conditions that the terrorists have set out for us right now are give us Big Boss's body within 24 hours. Well, it's like 19 hours now. Or we will launch a nuclear strike. I don't know if they have the detonation codes because there was that scene before about how the guy, some guy was looking at a dead person being like, now we can't get the detonation code because we killed him. So maybe they never got the other guy, the DARPA chief's code. Either way though, okay, so what I'm trying to say is, I think there are multiple ways that we can go about stopping the strike. Number one is we just destroy this whole operation. We get the detonation code override keys and stop it forcibly. But another way would be, why don't we just comply with what they say and give them Big Boss's body? Or at least pretend to. Is anybody working on that as a backup plan? I feel like no, they're not really considering that at all. And I know we don't want to give them a body for genome research and gene therapy and whatnot, but you can at least pretend to do that so that we can have a backup plan to drag it out. Because between a nuclear strike being launched right away versus, okay, in, in the distant or near future, some soldiers will be super enhanced. I feel like we would still probably want to avoid the nuclear strike, right? That's more immediate. So, I don't know, I, I feel like no one's really considering that as a possible... a possible thing to do, though. In war, a split second can mean the difference between victory and defeat. Don't ever hesitate. The slower you react, the greater the chance that you'll be beaten. These boss fights are not easy. They, they really aren't. Maybe I'm just still not used to the controls, but I, it takes some time. Especially because we gotta start from the beginning every time. Otacon said that now it's possible to design and test new types of nuclear weapons in a virtual Why simulation are you calling without Otacon? ever exploding a nuclear device. Is that true? Yes, it is true. Since the establishment of DART and NIF early in the 21st century, there has been a wealth of data concerning nuclear fission and fusion. There is also much data accumulated from the nuclear tests conducted over the last four decades. With the processing speed of today's supercomputers, they can design a new nuclear weapon through virtual reality computer simulations. Hmm. Are we actually calling him Otaku Convention? Is this serious? <laughs> he has a perfectly serviceable name, but no, we're gonna call him that. Meryl? Hmm. Nope. These are not people we can contact right now. Mei Ling? Snake, there's an old Chinese saying. A scholar who cherishes the love of comfort is not fit to be deemed a scholar. Einstein said it another way. 
He said that only a life lived for others is worth living. That's why I entered MIT instead of Princeton or Vassar like my friends. I wanted to do applied physics, not just a theoretical stuff. I wanted to make things for people. The Soliton radar system or the Kodak system. I just wanted to make something that would be useful for people. I think that it was the same for Dr. Emmerich, too. I was just gonna say. But he was used like a tool. Used to make a horrible killing machine. Maybe it would be better if engineers like us just stop making things. I don't know. I think, yeah, the whole thing makes a lot of sense. Maybe because we were saying, oh, the terrorists, the terrorists. Implicitly, we would think that everybody on their side knows exactly what they're doing. They're trying to destroy the planet with, with a nuclear strike. But it's totally possible that a whole bunch of people, they were roped into it without knowing that. In fact, that would make more sense for the um, terrorist bosses. Yeah, because we don't want people's consciences to get in the way. So just give them the minimal amount of information and be like, oh, yeah, sure, we're just gonna, yeah, we're gonna make a defensive system. Metal Gear to uh, defend the country and whatnot, but not really, right? Hmm. Well, the next best thing that Otacon can do is to help us. Help us in this whole endeavor. Does he have more st <laughs> to say again? Warhead storage building yes. that you're in has one. F I will. But that's one thing that they've been doing that is striking me is kind of interesting right now. Is back in the when we first met Baker and then we had that longish cutscene. There were there was like real footage of nuclear something nuclear being launched, and then the same for this cutscene with Otacon. And they also reference real stuff too, like Manhattan Project, or uh, Chernobyl, or the Hiroshima bomb. It gives like an additional layer of reality to everything. And of course the messages that we're seeing right now, oh, nuclear weapons are dangerous, blah blah blah, like these are all universally applicable and they will always be universally applicable. 